I'm Adela Masani, the founder of NEX Means. Um, we're based in Oakland, California. And I'm Kevin Foster, uh, not a co not a founder, but the executive director of NEX Means, and um, based out of Oakland as well. So the mission of the organization is to create safe spaces for artists of all identities while preserving the culture. It's uh, very imperative that we make space for artists to be creative and understand their roots and wrap it all in mindfulness. Because without mindfulness, you cannot have a successful career as an artist, specifically a musician. That was a great answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was he had the hands and it was involved. I'm like, yo. That's why he's the executive director. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I love all the nuances. I love the variables. I love that it's not always the same. I love that it can be challenging. I love that it can be easy. Mm -hmm. I love that it makes me angry. I love that it, it involves all of me to work with this community. And it takes all of me. And I love that because it's, it's like, why would I do it if I can't use all of me to do it? So I love that. I love that we're so involved and hands on and we see, we actually can see the change. We can see an artist being happy that they got a project done, yeah. or they got access to some money, or they got to record, or they got to meet somebody, or they got a, a opportunity. So yeah, yeah, I love all that. Agreed. And if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. Pretty much, <laughs> you know, like because working, working with our people, it can be. Yeah, listen, I love it. Lord yeah. knows, I love it. Yes, I do. Yeah, it does take a lot of discipline on oh, our yes. part, though. Like it. it Consistency. It's consistency and teaches us how to be leaders. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the biggest part that uh, unfortunately is a missing piece in our community and mm -hmm. in our culture is the, uh, the leadership skills. If Whether if it's leading a household or it's leading a team of people to mm -hmm. come around a common goal. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's something that's definitely I've learned over working with the organization the past two plus years. And it's really helped me become a better man, but also even a better artist creatively. Mm -hmm. Because I have to, like you said, put your all into that. It's you know no no one no one foot in one foot out is you gotta you jump. Can't be halfway. <laughs> you gotta go all the way in because otherwise how are you gonna help people? We'll see the halfwayness. They'll feel it and check you. So it's just like nah, you gotta all all or nothing. Mm -hmm. It started from a dream. So, um, 2015, I was real depressed. I had gone away to, to Barbados and I had left everything like mom, family, friends, and I was just on this island and I started having dreams. I've always been a connector. I've always brought people together. I've always had events, but what was the intention behind these events? What was the purpose behind these events? And I had a dream about Michael Max. And like in this vision, in this dream, we were having a conversation and he was just like, yo, straight up, like, what are you wanting to do with this? And in that dream, I said, yo, I want to help to develop the new soldiers. I feel like artists are the soldiers. We're on the front lines. It's our duty to tell the story. Mm. So I wanted to work with these creative beings and help them get to their goals as I get to mine. So that's where any X means came from, by any means. You know, by any means necessary, I'm going to get this art together. I'm going to work with these artists. We're going to be out in these streets, and we're going to live and sustain together. So yeah, came from a dream, 2015. 2015 till now, well, 2022. Man. Man. Yeah. So dreams are real. Manifestation is real. Very Alchemy much. is real. Very much. Transference of energy yeah. into physical form. Period. Me and Kevin having a conversation last night and just saying how just the idea of a conference, bringing folks together, having chapters, having different people traveling, going places, working with other organizations, partnerships, I'm looking forward to seeing what this fruit will bear and seeing what harvest we can bring in from just having conversation. Essentially. And the root of the work that we do in the artist community is uh, really focused on artist development. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, wrapping that in being holistic at the core of it all. And so we've been talking for a minute and already putting things into practice about having our artist development program um, encompassing everything from music creation to all the way to, to in incorporating yoga, meditation, so mm -hmm. that way you can be grounded through your artist's journey. And something we've talked about is taking that effort outside of Oakland, mm -hmm. where our home base is Oakland, but also having chapters around the country and mm -hmm. ultimately around the world at some point, 
That way we can maximize and scale the impact that we can have on guiding people towards their creative journey mm -hmm. and still be whole inside without having to compromise their values. So it's a it's a global mission, but we're starting starting at home. Starting from the town. Mm -hmm.